Hello everybody. It's been a long time. I know it's been a couple weeks. We've had a lot of stuff going on um, in the house. We took vacation. We're in the process of moving um, and prepping and all of that kind of stuff. So I've been creating, but I haven't been able to find time to, um, to film. So I'm bringing you a cute card um, today. And it's a card out of the... Um, the annual catalog is a stamp set and let's see let's bring let me show you the stamp set um right here it's called garden wishes and it's in the new annual catalog um let me find the page um see, i thought i i thought i marked it but i didn't okay it is on page 22 out of the annual catalog so me show you really really quick because the um the color scheme that I'm using um I pulled a little bit from the um the sample that's in the catalog so here's the um the stamp set it's called garden wishes and it's $22 um and it coordinates with the dandy wishes dies but I'm not using the dies I'm just using the stamp set to make um the card today excuse the shaking of the phone my mount has already been packed and shipped, um, headed to our new destination. So we're just waiting for our other shipment to come. So I'm using a, um, <laughs> it's a mount, but it's not like the one that I had. So anyway, so stamp set we're using is Garden Wishes. And we're going to use one of our um, new in colors called Pale Papaya. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So as well as the designer series paper. So this is the designer series paper um, pack for the in colors uh, 2021 and 2023. And you get all of the um, the sheets in that color family. So you get pale papaya, of course, uh, evening evergreen is this darker green. And then the lighter green is uh, soft succulent. That's this one. And then we have um, fresh freesia and then the pink is called polished pink so I'm going to be using some of that designer series paper and I'm um, also so here's the card so I'm also going to um, show you what I did to the envelope this card um, in the matching envelope is actually going to somebody um, so I'm going to show you how I did that and then of course I just stamped this just like I did the image on the card here so let's go ahead and um, get started. But before we do that, let's talk about um, things that are going on. So Stampin' Up! is going to have free shipping on the 24th of this month. It's one day only and your order has to be at least $50. Now, when you place your order, please use this host code um, YCZTZ3QD. Um, if your order is less than $150 so you can receive um, a gift from me so I'll give you I'll send you the make and take so you can make this card of course and um, if your purchase is over $150 don't use the host code you'll still get this make and take from me um, but you'll also earn your own stamping reward so that's just money um, based on your sales that you get back to use um, to buy product um, out of the catalog. So make sure you take advantage of that on the 24th at free shipping. That's a great deal. Everybody loves free shipping, right? Okay, so that's the um, the update. So let's go ahead and get into the card. So again, um, we're using pale papaya and we're using the pale the pale papaya um, papaya designer series paper. So this is um, four and a quarter um, by 11 and I'm going to score it at five and a half with my trimmer. Our trimmer is the best, I think. I love our Stampin' Trimmer. Um, it's in the annual catalog. I'm telling you, if you purchase it, you will not regret it. Um, it has the scoring blade, and it also has the um, the cutting blade um, all in one. So I, I love our trimmer. So let's see. I'm also, did I do... I did a layer on the inside of the card. You can act, you can write on this pale papaya, but I'm going to line it on the inside too and then stamp that as well. So to go ahead and get started, I'm going to take my layer here. So this measures, um, this is 
four, uh, three and three fourths by by five. All right, so that layer, and then this die is from one of my favorites. I didn't use our new dies that I've been using on all my cards lately. I brought back um, Stitch So Sweetly dies, so I just die cut this um, scallop rectangle out of that, and this is where we're actually going to stamp our um, our image. Okay, so let's bring in our image. So you guys, so packing, oh my gosh, like we're military, so we, we move quite often. Um, but this packing, I'm telling you, my kids have been talking about me. They was like, mama, you need to start packing um, your stuff and getting it organized because you got a whole house in there. And I do have a lot of stuff, um, but it's some stuff that, um, some of my new stuff, I want it to um, have at our location once we get there. So some of my new stuff I've already sent ahead. And they'll be coming to pack our um, our other stuff up on Monday and Tuesday. So I have quite a bit of work that I need to do in my craft room to get ready for the packers on Monday. So I have been um, trying to get it done. But I'm telling you, I got a lot of work to do in here. And it was hard trying to decide what I wanted to send ahead and then what I wanted to keep back um, to, you know, stamp with you guys. And then, of course, I'll be taking some stuff in my luggage because, of course, I got to stamp while, you know, we're on our way because we'll be in a hotel until we find a place. But um, anyway, so that's my image. I got a lot of work to do, but I plan on putting um, I've been creating. I just need to make cards. Um, I mean, make videos for the cards that I've made. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've stamped my image in Memento Black Ink, and I am going to bring in um, my blending brushes. And you're going to see how I'm going to bring in some of the color without it being like too, too much. Okay, so I am going to use these three blending brushes. I'm going to use uh, Soft Succulent, Pale Papaya, and then um, Misty Moonlight. All right, just to give my flowers some color. So you don't have to, with this image, you can, um, there is a stamp. And that's actually what I'm going to put in the, um, the Misty Moonlight. But I thought the Misty Moonlight was a little too dark. So what I am going to do to lighten it up, I'm going to uh, stamp off a little bit. So let me fold this scratch paper it feels so good to be back in here like creating and stamping I get so excited so I stamped off twice I stamped off twice just to get me a lighter shade and you'll see um, right here let's take this off this is for another card that I'm gonna make so I'm just gonna stamp that and you don't have to worry about it being perfect it's just adding some color right all right, so that's Misty Moonlight. Let's go ahead and close that up. Now I'm gonna bring in Pale Papaya, and I'm gonna take my blending brush, and I'm just gonna tap into my ink pad, and I'm just gonna go over both of these flowers just to add um, a little little bit of color to, um, to these. And not, you know, where it's too, too much, but just, a, just enough. To like bring in the colors that we're using okay now I'm going to bring in soft succulent and I'm going to take my blending brush that I use for my greens and I'm just going to put the tip you know kind of like on the side a little bit and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go over you know the bottom part just to give that some some color so it's no rhyme or reason to it you just want to try to fill in some of that um the area to get some color okay so that's those two now i'm going to bring back in misty moonlight and i'm going to stamp my sentiment so on this sentiment i used your acts of kindness are like a breath of fresh air um and on the inside i stamped um, just some of this same image like down in a corner and then it's free for you to write your message okay so for this card though um, I'm gonna use this sentiment made with love for a true friend so let's bring this in 
and I'm going to bring a scrap piece of basic white. I'm going to stamp this on here just like this and I'm going to trim trim that up. Okay. Now we can go ahead and close this up. And I'm going to let this dry a little bit those two and I'm going to bring in my stamp and seal and actually I use this side for the first card I'm going to use this side this time okay um, just choose whichever side you like the best all right so I'm just going to center this all the way around just like this perfect um i'm also going to use some linen thread so i'm just going to tear off a little bit of this linen thread to add some texture behind the sentiment okay now this is dried a little bit so I'm gonna bring in my Stampin' Dimensionals of course on the back like this and then peel the paper backings off just like that bring that to the side and this is gonna go um kind of to the left a little bit just like that perfect now I'm gonna bring in my mini trimmer and let's trim some of this off a little bit let's see I think that kind of went in crooked okay now let's see Trim some of this off. And I'm just kind of measuring over here just to see how much I want to cut off. So let's cut off about that much. Okay, so there goes our sentiment. Go to scrap in the trash. Now, I am going, where's my stamping seal? It's right there in front of me. Okay, so I'm just putting adhesive on this. So I'm just going to lay my um, my linen thread. And I'm not going to force it. I'm just going to, like, let it fall where it's most comfortable. All right. And then this is just going to add something behind the, the sentiment. Now, I'm going to put my sentiment right here. So I'm going to do straight adhesive, so stamp and seal on this side, and then I'll pop it up with a dimensional on this side. Because this is popped up and I want it to be level. Okay. And I'm going to pop that right there. Just lining that up, kind of like on the center, just like that. And then now I am bringing in one of my favorite embellishments for the, like the last week um, because they seem to go with everything. And these are our artistry blooms. Um, they're also available in the um, annual catalog. So let me show you something. So for this one, I used the blue ones. I think I may switch it up on this. Well, you know what? I'm not switching it up. I like the blue. These things, like, they go with everything. Like, I really, I like them a lot. So, that's what we're doing. I'm going to take a big one and put that one, like, right there. Okay? So, Artistry Blooms, Garden Wishes, Pale Papaya, Cardstock, and we got our Designer Series paper going on. Let's fold this on our score line and we're going to burnish the score lines. Now I'm going to take um, the inside and I have a piece cut down to 
because I can grab it, um, to four by five and a quarter. And this is what I'm going to, um, move that out of the way. This is what I'm going to line um, the inside with. But before I do that, I'm going to bring in this image again. And I'm going to bring in my scrap paper because I want to stamp off. I don't want it to be um, as dark. See, that's a little bit too dark, I think. I want to lighten it up. So I'm going to stamp off twice and then do one here. Stamp twice and do one down in a corner one two and then do one like right there let's just add something um, to the inside so you have a perfect spot to write your message now um, after I put this in I'm gonna show you guys how I did the um, the envelope so I'm just gonna even this up on all four sides just like that Okay, now for the envelope, this is what I did. So the, the in color paper, it comes six by six, right? Um, so what I did, you know, I cut this three and three fourths by five. So you actually, you're left with a piece that looks like this. So what I've done, I've taken the envelope and I put adhesive on the flap and I just laid my uh, designer series paper down on the flap just like that and then I just trimmed all the way around and then for the front I did the same image that I have on the card right here on the front use my blending brushes and then I stamped um, the sentiment on the front of the envelope okay so that's how I did that card I hope you guys like it um, if you do like it I would appreciate it if you I love it if you share the video um, subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube and then like my page if you're watching on my uh, on my business page again this is Keisha with crafty sweet um, US demonstrator this is the host code for June if you place an order in my store and want to get this make and take um, for free in the mail um, I appreciate you guys for watching thank you so much and I will see you in the next video have a great day goodbye